right now. So the recording is on. This is CAS as an identity and access management solution for Sakai. So we're going to continue. This session is uh, 30 minutes long, so it continues until 1020 AM. Uh, and I want to put in a plug for the lightning talks starting at 1030. So yesterday we had uh, our first ever performance skit as part of a lightning talk, which is really a lot of fun. So who knows what we'll see today. So definitely come by and check it out. So with that said, let me uh, let me turn this over to, uh, to Shoji. Take it away. OK, can you hear me? Yes, we can. OK, thank you very much for coming. My name is Shoji Kajita. I'm working for IT planning office at Kyoto University. Today, uh, we'd like to talk about CAS and Sakai integration. Maybe you don't know about Kyoto University, but uh, Kyoto University is the second oldest national university in Japan, uh, which was established in 1897. So, we don't have not so long history like yours, uh, but uh, uh, we are research institutions in Japan, so we have many uh, winners of international awards like uh, uh, Nobel Prize. And uh, the uh, academic staff member is around uh, 5,000 and uh, also uh, undergraduate and graduate students are around uh, 23,000. So I think that, that this is the middle size of US institutions. Okay, when you come to this session, I think that uh, you read my uh, abstract of this section. Uh, session. And uh, you may thought that uh, this session would be uh, too technical to understand. And uh, yes, uh, uh, actually, the track is categorized as a technical deep dive in conjunction of Sakai and CAD project. But that, how can I say? Question is not so uh, difficult. It's a very simple. When you uh, participate this Open Apeleo 2020, you logged in through this interface, right? Uh, by typing your ID and password. The Sakai default user authentication method is XLogin, uh, which is uh, provided uh, for the uh, uh, LDAP user authentication and also Sakai local user authentication. The question in this session is how we can improve user authentication of Sakai with CADS. You know, this is a uh, uh, Nagoya University's Sakai implementation uh, they call NUCT. They are using cache find Sakai by putting the CAS login button on the uh, gateway page. But uh, this session is not about Caspying Sakai by replacing X login with CAD. This is a, uh, the gateway page of Duke University. They have two links, which is Duke login and the guest login. It means that the Duke is providing two ways of authentication. One is institution-wide IDP and also Sakai local users by using X login. This session 
the goal of this session is to change these situations. Let me show you another example. This is a, a gateway page of University of Amsterdam. They also uh, providing the uh, two ways of authentication, like Duke. This is a, a University of uh, uh, Sorry, I cannot pronounce that. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, the, the case of University of Cape Town. They are also providing two ways. The order is different. First is guest login by using X login and then institution-wide IDP by UCT login. This is an uh, uh, example uh, at the University of Dayton. They are providing two ways. And uh, this is an uh, 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 example from University of Notre Dame. They also, uh, uh, they are also providing two ways. Uh, net login and uh, email login. Uh, this is the uh, uh, University of Virginia. Uh, again, institution wide IDP and uh, X login. So, uh, we'd like to change this situation by using CAS, not just uh, cast buying Sakai, but also uh, uh, introducing new authentication handler for CAS, what we call Query Sakai Database Authentication Handler. I think you are very familiar with CAS. CAS is the uh, central authentication service. And the first three developed at uh, uh, Yale in 2000 and moved to the uh, Asakai, sorry, JSA project in 2004. So it means that uh, CAS has two decades very long history. And the CAS allows institutions to implement single sign on uh, features for the university. And uh, I think that the most important aspects of Sky uh, CAS is centralization of authentication and the authorization to prevent distributed cost of authentication and the authorization on campus. Uh, to attain a single sign-on uh, environment on campus, CAS is providing the comprehensive client libraries for Java, PHP, and other programming languages. As a result, oh, sorry, as a result, CASFINE Sky was the first solution for institutions. And uh, almost nine years ago, I moved to Kyoto University from Nagoya University. Uh, during the uh, early days, we started using Sakai as a, a learning management learning management system at Kyoto University instead of Web City. Uh, during the development, uh, we had uh, uh, several requirements, but uh, we would like to show you the most important ones. First, we needed to use Kyoto University's institutional IDP, I mean, uh, Sibores IDP and also LDAP server. Secondly, we also need to uh, authenticate Sakai local users. And finally, uh, and the most important, uh, we don't want to 
select the user authentication method by users because uh, uh, users don't understand the differences. So we decided to develop Query Sakai Database Authentication Handler by extending Query Database Authentication Handler from CAS. And also, uh, just a moment, uh, we decided to use it in conjunction of LDAP Authentication Handler to handle institutional LDAP uh, with LDAP server. During the development of a uh, query Sakai authentication handler, uh, password service of Sakai was crucial because uh, uh, the because uh, uh, the Sakai's historical modifications for password encryption. Uh, let me show you. As you see, uh, the length of password is different from versions. And also uh, encryption is different. So we, we needed to use this Sakai password service to develop Query Sakai database authentication handler. Okay, we have already uh, submitted our uh, pull request. Uh, let me show you just a moment. Let me change my, yes. yes. Okay, uh, this is a GitHub of uh, CAS. As you see, uh, we have submitted to request. Uh, well, just a moment. Yes, here. <laughs> And uh, firstly, I we submitted to request for yes, uh, CAS version five point three branch, but uh, it was closed because of. CAS maintenance policy, uh, but uh, you can use uh, these modification on your CAS version 5.3 uh, servers. It's very easy. Two, uh, three files. One is a uh, uh, Sakai. Uh, JDBC authentication properties, uh, which enables us to configure uh, the uh, uh, Sakai database of the authentication in cats.properties. And uh, also, yes, we need a, a Sakai password service, so we need to change uh, build Gradle file to uh, use uh, Sakai kernel implementation. And uh, finally, this is the uh, uh, query Sakai database auth authentication handler. Uh, by extending query database auth authentication handler. Uh, as as I showed you, uh, we are using yes Sakai password service. 
Yes, but uh, this pull request was closed. So I submitted another pull request uh, uh, for the uh, master branch. So I hope that the uh, uh, future uh, version of CAS will include these uh, modifications. Okay, so let me change to my Okay, so here I'd like to show you live demonstration. Uh, one is for cyber learning space with CAS version 5.3. We are using, we've been using this since uh, last September in conjunction of SAML2 authentication and uh, uh, LDAP authentication, including institution-wide LDAP and uh, Sakai LDAP, and also a Sakai database authentication. And second live demonstration is uh, using Panda with CAS version 3.5. Uh, it has been used since October 2012, so almost uh, eight years in conjunction of LDAP authentication and Sakai database authentication. Okay, this is the uh, uh, demonstration scenario for cyber, sorry, cyber learning space. We are using Sibores IDP to authenticate user two, then uh, user two is going to uh, cyber learning space of Sakai through the uh, CAS version 5.3. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. I think you can see my uh, web browser. Now I'm moving to the uh, our uh, faculty and the staff portal. Sorry, several information is in Japanese, but uh, you can recognize uh, some English messages. And uh, here is a link to cyber learning space to take uh, compliance training programs. As you see the uh, bottom of the screen, the link is going to the uh, CAD uh, with some two uh, authentication. So this is a, a, a single sign-on single sign uh, demonstration uh, using SAML2. So you see, uh, now cyber, we are in the uh, cyber learning space. So in Japanese, but uh, you, uh, so there are several uh, uh, compliance programs. And then log, log, in, log out, then go to the uh, gate page, gateway page of cyber running space. Then click on the login button. We can see the uh, CAS login uh, window. And uh, let me type in my institution wide uh, ID. Then log in. And log out. Then next to the uh, Sakai uh, local user ID. and logged in. So you see, uh, 
Okay. So let's go to the uh, uh, Panda. Uh, we are still using uh, uh, 10.7. And by clicking on the login button, CAS is showing up, uh, which is version 3.5. And uh, type in my institution wide ID, then log in. Okay, this is a Panda 101 site for pandemic. Uh, uh, usage, we have a lot of questions from uh, faculty on this site. Anyway, no doubt. Then let me log in by using local, Sakai local ID. Okay, fine. Okay, future plans. We, we've been investigating the use of March factor authentication. At this moment, institutionally, we selected a time, timed one-time password uh, system uh, which was developed by uh, local companies but uh, we are also investigating the use of duo and also we would like to introduce group integration to uh, uh, use authorization of uh, CAS capability okay do you have any questions or comments No questions. So it seems that there aren't any questions at this point. I want to give uh, any folks with questions uh, a last opportunity to uh, to throw out a question. Going once, going twice, going three times. All right. It is now 14 minutes past the hour, 1014 Eastern. So I think at this point we should we should wrap up this session. We'll give you guys a, a slightly longer break before we move to the lightning talks at 10:30. So um, so I'm going to stop the recording right now.